Just a quick update video. Uh, it's what, Feb uh, 8. It's mine is three or four right now. Uh, it's a beautiful uh, February day. Uh, the mornings are probably in the minus 20, 25 to minus 15. And then it warms up to the, uh, the mid uh, single digits, uh, negatives. Uh, but uh, can't complain with this weather. I'm just getting ready to go for a cross country ski. Uh, that my trail goes out there, about a 10 kilometer loop. Uh, I just came and got my temperatures. Uh, so for those who use uh, broodminders, I have a sub hub uh, set up inside one of these boxes. So it's insulated from the super cold. Uh, so the batteries last and then what it does, it collects uh, all the data from these four hives and there's a total of 30 sensors there. So I can do my full upload in probably two, three minutes, which is fantabulous. Uh, it used to take me hours and my phone would die because it would freeze. Uh, but just to show you what I do, uh, it's nice and sunny. It's too cold for them to cleanse. Uh, but you can see how I've dropped the, uh, the pieces of plywood. And what that does is if the bees do go out, uh, they'll, they have a dark surface in a non-freezing uh, surface to land on if they had to. S sun's still low on the horizon. Like I said, we're only early Feb. Uh, I'd say the sun will be a bit higher probably by the end of the month. And I'd say we might get the odd uh, hour or so of cleansing opportunities, maybe. Uh, but uh, I don't expect them till uh, sometime in March. In, uh, which we call it in April uh, and sometime in March what I'm going to do is I'll remove the styrofoam out front here so that uh, it does get a bit more solar gain uh, right now I don't want them to cleanse because they'll just fly off and die in the snow hence the reason I leave the styrofoam there so it'll prevent the uh, the uh, solar gain from the sun and it helps just keep the uh, colonies nice and stable uh, you'll notice I cleaned this off about two weeks ago but uh, you can see how there's a pile up of dead bees there. So it's probably indicative of, again, uh, some health issues, but hopefully it makes it through. Uh, so far, a little bit of, uh, of Nosema in those bees and a bit of amoeba. Nothing like last year, so I'm hoping uh, it was just a very uh, full colony. So I'm hoping it's just... Uh, uh, natural bee mortality because it had more bees than the other ones uh, but I'll keep uh, trialing it right now I I need fresh bees to test so I'll probably uh, come back on a sunny day and collect some live bees but uh, in a nutshell that's that uh, not much to do because uh, it's still winter here and there's still another two months at least of winter uh, and my pollen patties won't go on till uh, probably hopefully sometime in March uh, but and what I would do is there's a couple screws here so five six screws to take off and then I can just access this from the back and pop the lids take uh, extra styrofoam off put some pollen patties put it back together and then come back in uh, two three weeks after that and that should be this the end of winter but uh, that's another two months away, so no rush. I do get questions about uh, about folks uh, testing or wanting to check food stores. Uh, and then I say, have your bees ever stored starved before? And is it something you should be doing? Uh, so up here, uh, chances are if, you're, if you didn't feed them enough and they don't have enough stores, uh, they won't make the winter. <clears throat> but because of all the insulation we use, uh, especially if it's not super vented on top, uh, the bees should be fine and there's no uh, big risk of starvation. So I have no fear of them starving. Uh, and when it comes time, I'll put the pollen patties on and trigger brood rearing and I won't have any fears about uh, starvation. So, because basically this... Uh, this temperature, this fluctuation, we're starting to get into those diurnals. So we'll get probably 20, 25 degrees C diurnals. Uh, hence the reason uh, 
stopping the heat from heating the inside of the hive and activating those bees is critical. Uh, but once I'm ready, like I said, once there's more solar gain and they're actually brood rearing, I, I'll take advantage of some of that solar gain. Uh, but again, I'm using polystyrene hives, so uh, the impact is far less. And at least the heat that goes in, uh, they're able to retain inside uh, at night. So, yep, food for thought. Uh, the key to winter survival is let the bees be bees and just make sure they have enough feed. And if you're in colder climates, uh, yeah, understand how insulation works in your area. And if you're in warmer climates, the I'd say technically I could actually put feed on this liquid feed and I wouldn't really have any fear of, uh, of moisture issues, especially two to one syrup. So if I had to, I would, but uh, I don't really need to do that till uh, I'd say in April sometime. So anyways, just uh, thought I'd do an update before my ski and uh, yeah, need some vitamin D. Enjoy this sunshine.